Yes. Should we be paying attention to the enemy's tactics? Yes. Should we be afraid? No. See, we've got to learn that there is not anything on this earth that we should be afraid of and fearful of. There's only one type of fear that is allowed, and that's reverent fear of God, not of this world. And anyone that tells you you're supposed to be afraid of things of this world that are wrong, kick rocks, shake the dust from them. Because this world will want you to stay in fear. <clears throat> there are certain groups, YouTube people, that I speak with that should never be hated because of the situation. And people are jumping to conclusions, using the wrong words, <clears throat> and it's creating some turmoil. Stop. Think before you speak. As a Christian, stop and think before you speak. Don't act on impulse. Satan wants you to act on impulse. Satan wants you miserable and ununited and afraid. Stand up and stand true for Jesus. Don't let this world slay, slay you or slay you mentally and physically or spiritually. See, people don't realize when Jesus told his disciples to sell all that you have and buy swords. And buy two swords. There's two types of sword in this world that are deadlier than any physical thing man has made. And you all did not catch this and I'm hoping you'll catch it this time around. It's the sword of the spirit of the word of God. spiritual sword physical sword your bible yeah when he said buy two swords two swords he was referring to the spiritual sword of his word and then the whole bible is the physical sword this is your sword this is your duty to carry your sword With it, you can slay the enemy. Bump. Without it, you can't do nothing. But Brother George, you don't always have a Bible on you. How do you pick things out that need to be said? I don't even think about it. All honesty, I trust the Lord of the Word of the Lord, who said, I will give you what you need to speak in that moment. I will give you what you should say in that moment when it's time. You guys keep this fearfulness up. You're not going to move forward. You're going to be trapped in misery, shame, depression, anxiety, fear, uncertainty. Stop letting this world slay you can't use any other word, but it is slaying you spiritually. <clears throat> Stop giving and yielding to the things that you have no authority or power over. To change. Let it go. Let God lead and live. That's the issue that we have is people are being held hostage by the uncertainty of the day. We are in the last days, there's no doubt about it. But it doesn't mean we are defeated. We are surrounded by angel armies. No weapon of the enemy will prosper, the word says. Though it may destroy our physical body, it's not going to destroy our spirit unless we allow.